Help me ducks, it's Simon here. Welcome back to the Hermit's Cave. So something a little bit different today. I'm not gonna be talking about tarot. I'm gonna be talking about um, my favorite book and its latest iteration um, that I've just received. So this was attempted delivery yesterday. Um, for some reason, my intercom is not working properly. So there was unable to deliver. So I had it delivered to a pickup point, one of the local shops, and um, I collected it after work this evening. So um, I've done many tags in the past where people ask what your favourite books are. And most people know that my all time favourite book is The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho. This was the first uh, copy of The Alchemist that I got and it's part of a set so I've got about 14 15 of his books I adore him as an author he's one of my favorite authors but this was the first book that I read the first version of The Alchemist I should say that I read and um, I've read it a few times um, it's wonderful as well because there's a quote by Madonna on the back and I'm a huge Madonna fan and she says the alchemist is a beautiful book about magic dreams and the treasures we seek elsewhere and then find on our own doorstep um, and that's that's the premise of the story really I also have this version which is the 25th anniversary um, edition oh I've just lost my feather bye bye feather <laughs> my own fault for putting it too close to um to the flame um yeah and this is it lists all the other books that are available uh, by paolo coelho but this was beautiful um yeah and a really nice hardback edition so the alchemist why i love it so much i mean as it said it's it's written as a fable actually but um it is just poetic it's beautiful and to think that this originally wasn't uh written in english it was released in 1988 originally um after paulo coelho spent um oh how long was it actually i think it was something like two weeks yeah two weeks during 1987 writing this book it took him literally two weeks to write it but there is so much beauty in the words. There are so many um, golden nuggets of spiritual gems um, that, you know, you could release a book <laughs> of. And I believe there is a quote book, a Paulo a Paolo Coelho quote book. It might be something like um, a diary. I think you can get like a, an annual Paolo Coelho diary that has lots of his quotes in. And the majority of them come from The Alchemist. Now, he's done so many books that I love. This, my second favourite book of his is um, Veronica Decides to Die, which is about a girl who attempts to complete suicide um, and fails, but has been told that it's irreversible and she only has a certain amount of time to live and how she lives her life in that remaining time. And it is very life affirming. The book is wonderful. The Devil and Miss Prim, uh, The Witch of Portobello. I just, there's just so many of his books that are absolutely wonderful. And I'm not a huge book reader, as you know. So it was released originally in 1988. It was then um, translated into English five years later in 1993. And it has sold to date around 65 million copies, um, of which I now have three when I show you today's. Um, a little bit of premise about the story, just in case you don't know, and I'm not gonna spoil things because I really want people to read it because it's, it's a wonderful book. Um, it's about a young Spanish shepherd boy called Santiago, who one night has a dream. In fact, it's a recurring dream, but this one particular night he has a dream whilst he's out um, tending to his flock 
Um, and he believes the dream to be prophetic because in the dream he sees or is told where there is buried treasure and it's where the Egyptian pyramids are. So he makes that pilgrimage from southern Spain all the way across to Egypt and he does it in stages, stopping off, working, earning some money to continue on his journey. But it's about his journey from his hometown to um, to Egypt and the people that he meets along the way. So he meets King Melchizedek, he meets an Englishman, he meets and falls in love with an Arabian girl called Fatima and he meets an alchemist. And each of them have lessons for him and teach him about how to read omens and look for spiritual signs. And it's wonderful. One of my favourite quotes comes from this book, which is something along the lines of, and I should have wrote it down or prepared. Um, when you want something with all of your heart, the entire universe conspires to make it happen. Words to that effect. And I've always remembered that. And I've always kind of uh, believed that too. And it's about that manifestation of dreams, isn't it? Anyway, so these are my two early editions. But I'm really excited because today, I'm not sure if this will fit on. I may have to move my candles and things now. Um, I should hate for an accident to happen. Um, let's move my stones. I ordered a copy of this from the Folio Society. I don't know if people are familiar with the Folio Society, um, but they really do beautiful illustrated books. And it was a treat to myself um, because I've seen their books. There are a few others that I want to get over time, um, but I thought, well, I need to start with my, with my favorite book, surely. <laughs> So that's what I did. I wouldn't mind getting things like The Wizard of Oz, The Velveteen Rabbit, or one or two others. But um, for now, I wanted to start with, um, as I said, my favourite book. It might take some getting into, so I might do a speed up. Okay, so it is so well packaged. Oh, they really know how to um, protect it. Look at this, it has a slip case as well. These books, um, depending on which one you get, but they are bound in blocked cloth. A bit like the, uh, talking of alchemists, <laughs> the alchemical tarot, these kind of cases, these blocked cloth uh, boxes. Um, so yeah. Oh, feels wonderful. So let's have a look at the front. We have this palm tree this gold embossed which is lovely in the crescent moon this is a beautiful beautiful slip case i love the fact that you put it in that way so you have the oh, the binding so this is gorgeous really lovely case to keep it in and there we have our protagonist our santiago I'm so excited. So, um, this is a hundred and I think it's 76 pages. I seem to remember. Oh, look at this. So this is where he starts off his journey, Andalusia in Spain, and he makes his way all the way over 
to the pyramids here through the Sahara Desert. Yeah, it goes down through Trafia, Tangier in Morocco, Sahara Desert, oh, and over to the, the pyramids. This is gorgeous. Look at this. The quality is just beautiful. There are, it is illustrated. There are um, integrated illustrations throughout. London Folio Society 2018. And the illustrations are by, I think you say that as Yehu. Yehu, I think. Cisneros. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. So Paolo Coelho was born in Rio de Janeiro in 1947 he has become one of the most widely read and loved authors in the world especially renowned for the alchemist and 11 minutes or 11 minutes is good as well it's actually a book about sex 11 minutes <laughs> that's the average time apparently um he has sold more than 100 million books worldwide wow and 65 million of them is the alchemist and his work has translated into 67 languages, the recipient of numerous prestigious international awards, amongst them the Crystal Award by the World Economic Forum and France's Legion, Legion de Honneur. Paulo Coelho was inducted into the Brazilian Academy of Letters in 2002. And then there's a write-up there about the illustrator as well. The author's note. So in this book, there are 22 colour and 14 black and white illustrations. We have the prologue. The pages feel, oh, they're just so luxurious. So luxurious. The font is Adrian text, part one. The boy's name was Santiago. Dust was falling as the boy arrived with his herd at an abandoned church. Look at these images. Oh, they're just beautiful. A beautiful book. Gorgeous. Reminds me of, oh, I can't think of the artist's name. But he did the, um, oh, it begins with a B. I think he's from the north of England. Um, he did lots of um, factories and things like that, and matchstick men. We get a ribbon as well. A ribbon marker which is handy this is just stunning a stunning work of art I just wanted to to share it with you and because I've spoken about this book before um, oh, it smells beautiful and folio society are known for their beautiful binding as well um, look I don't know if you can see that beautiful stitched or sewn uh, binding, which is just wonderful. So yes, there we are. This is the Alchemist that has been released by Folio Society. And I think I might start getting my favorite books as long as they do them. Um, by Folio Society because they are absolutely beautiful. I love that edge. A little sheep, the shepherd, the crescent moon. Oh. So I just wanted to pop on today just to share that with you. Um, let me know if you've read The Alchemist, what you thought. Um, it's 
it's often um, described as a book that changes lives. Um, and yeah, I mean, sometimes we say, oh, it changed my life. And what do we actually mean by that? But there's certainly pearls of wisdom within this book that have helped me to see things a little differently. Let's put it that way. So, yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Um, sorry it's not tarot today, but I just wanted to talk about something a little bit different and share this purchase with you. And yeah, let me know your thoughts. And until next time, go in peace. Namaste and blessed be.